The person that I was was a violent, destructive person who was lost, that didn't care about himself or anybody, anybody else. You know, Gogi helped me make a better decision to think about not only myself, but those around me, you know, to become a service of others. My name's Coach Ernie, and I'm Gogi for life. I was sentenced to 21 years of life. I ended up doing uh, 26. The Gogi tools helped me while I was in prison, and when I was released, I contacted the founder of Gogi, and she offered me a job in the mailroom. That's where I work today. Man, the Gogi mailroom is, is where we receive all the mail from all the prisoners in, everywhere around the country. When we pick up the mail, and we put it all on the table and we sort it out. We want to hurry up and get through it, but we also want to take our time to make sure we go through every letter. As I read the letter, I see what, what they're asking for, you know, and what we do is we make three stacks. You know, ones that's asking for materials, they want uh, recommendations of board. Another style is new Gogi students, you know, want to be part of Gogi. And then there's another one where they just write thank you you know, for the work that we do for them, you know, what Gogi does for them. Every Friday, we're so excited just to receive their mail, you know what I mean, and be able to answer them. You know, this mail room is very vital because that's where everything comes to. It's almost like the headquarters. They've heard the news of what Gogi's about. If we didn't have a mail room, then there wouldn't be no Gogi. You know, there's, there, there'd be no place where we're able to send them stuff. Well, before is, I've never made positive decisions. I didn't even know what positivity is. You know, I was so negative and, and so angered. I grew up in a, in, a, in a poverty neighborhood. My mom had a struggle to support us. One day coming out of school, they asked me if I wanted to be a gang member. And I said, no. And they started laughing. They said, well, you ain't have no choice. So they attacked me and I tried to fight them back, but there was like four of them. Knocked me down and all that I did was curl up, hoping that it'll end soon. And then when that happened, all I see was them reach out their hand and say, welcome to the family. And in the beginning, I didn't understand that. I said, what do you mean family? You know, I said, no, you know what I mean? You're part of us. It's not something I wanted at the time, but I felt accepted, and in my frame of mind is, you know what? Maybe if I do join the gang, then I'll stop being a victim. Right now, we're on the way to go see my nephew, Junior. So excited to have him involved and to hear his side of the story. It's somebody that I truly care about and I love. Hi, my name is Junior. Um, Coach Ernie is my uncle. I was living with him when I was young. And, um, you know, I mean, every time he was around, he made sure, you know, I mean, to spend some quality time with whoever was at the house, either me, my brothers, my, my cousins. Um, if it was even 20 minutes, you know, I mean, he would always goof around with us, mess around with us, you know, what I mean, um, and then he was gone, you know, what I mean, we wouldn't see him anymore. When my uncle went to prison, it was tough because, uh, Obviously, my grandmother. You know, I mean, my grandmother. I mean, that's his mother. You know, I mean, she was she was pretty much dying. So she just pulled me in and hugged me, and she whispered in my ear to tell Ernie, you know, I mean, my uncle, that she loved him with all her heart, and that you know, I mean, she for him to take care of himself, for him to take care of himself, and that hopefully one day he will be home. I was just lost. You know, I was just a lost, lost soul. I wanted to try something that's going to help me, benefit me, become a better person. Gogi's taught me how to become positive and make these positive decisions. You know, uh, not let things irritate you or bother you. You know, it, it, it helps you become better as a human being. If you would have known my uncle before he went in, he, you would say like, this is a different man. 
Like, what happened to you? You know what I mean? Like, in a good way, not a bad way. We really didn't really get to know each other, you know. But when I got out now, I was able to see him and embrace him, you know, because he had a message from my mom that he wanted to give to me personally. The message was that my mom loved me and when I come home to give me a hug. I was, I was crying. I was crying when I told him, you know what I mean? He hugged me and he apologized for all the pain that he caused. I forgive him, you know what I mean? I forgive him for everything. There's not, you know what I mean? We're human. We all make errors and we all make mistakes. And, but, um, you know what I mean? That's one thing that my grandmother taught me, you know what I mean? This was to forgive. Ever since then, we stay in contact every day, you know? I, I text him every morning have, telling him have a great day, you know, how much I love him. It, it's amazing. It's amazing and it brings so much joy to me. Like, and like I said, it, it just, every time he tells me about it, I just, I have a big old smile. I start off my, my day in the, right, in the right path, you know what I mean? With the, the right way, smiling, positive, just knowing that, hey, my uncle is here, he's home, you know what I mean? He's doing so much, you know what I mean? So much positive in his life that who would ever thought that? It doesn't matter what we've been through, what we've gone through, who we are, through a life of service, we're able to forgive. You know, make, make this into a better world. Be of service. Put others first. My name is Coach Ernie. And one thing you need to know is don't be afraid to ask for help. If you really want to change, Gogi is the one for you. You have to want to change. You have to want to better yourself. Gogi is there for you. And look at me. I'm all tattooed down, ex-gang member, ex-drug user, been in and out of prison. If I could do it, so can you. Why don't you come to the family? We're here to help you. My name is Coach Ernie, and I am the face of Gogi.